Um, so basically now our phones has tons of content that's really sensitive like you have your banking app that has like the bank account information and the account uh, details and stuff. You have your emails, you have your Dropbox which has like the unpublished papers which for at least for me it's more important than bank accounts and like what we usually do we try to protect this kind of information by using like authentication schemes. Um, like there's tons of them but the basic stuff or like the most typical ones are using pins and lock patterns. And usually when we are like sitting alone in our kitchen or something when we authenticate we think it's perfectly safe just to put the pin or like the lock pattern and it's perfectly safe. However, think again or at least when I'm around. Because as you can see here in the video. Oh. So this is Joshua my friend he's sitting in the kitchen he unlocks his phone and then he leaves the phone outside he goes grab some water and I came in into the room with a thermal camera. I capture the screen of the phone and tada, I can actually reveal his pin entry. Uh, what we use is this kind of a high end thermal camera and you can actually put it like one meter high and you can still see like multiple phones. We didn't try it out but like during the study we had multiple phones um, and you can actually still see the traces. We didn't actually test because of the occlusion mm. and stuff yeah. but technically speaking it's quite feasible yeah. yes. Cool. Yeah. Very nice first step. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.